my name is Connie. I am a 21 year old college student and I'm living with ulcerative colitis. I was diagnosed in 2017 with UC. My initial flare put me in and out of the hospital for six months. I failed on two medications, including a biologic. I had C. diff. I decided to have my colon removed in December of 2017. I underwent a total colectomy and had a temporary ostomy bag um, constructed. His name was Franklin. We were besties. <laughs> and then in March of 2018, I got my J pouch constructed. And I thought that living with a J pouch would be a lot different than living with a colon, but really the only significant differences are that I go to the bathroom more frequently. Today I'm able to work out, I'm able to go to classes, I was able to work full-time last summer, now part-time, and compared to when I was initially diagnosed, I did a 180 after my J pouch surgery. My daily life with my disease changes all the time just because my disease is ever changing. I'm still a fairly new patient. It's only been three years. So I've not found a period of consistency just yet. And I'm newly in remission. So um, the adjustment period is still happening, but I think the most important and the most affected aspect of my lifestyle has been my diet. I'm not able to digest a lot of things now because I don't have a colon, so that was an adjustment, just trying to find out what I can and can't eat. I also found out almost a year ago now that I've, I'm allergic to gluten, dairy, and eggs as a result of my ulcerative colitis. So cutting those out has been really helpful to my symptoms and managing my disease, but it's also really challenging because those things are in a lot of foods. Uh, if I had to give advice to people, it would be first and foremost to get involved. My involvement in the foundation and its programs um, has really helped me accept all of the challenges and, and victories that come with having UC and getting to meet other patients and talk to them about their stories has not only put things into perspective for me, but also helped me just cope with living with something that can really, really <laughs> challenge you at times. Definitely after I got involved with the foundation was when my whole mental approach to what I'm going through changed for the better. I feel like it's also really important to remember that it's okay not to be okay 100% of the time. There's so much pressure to look and act and feel a certain way all the time and it's okay if you need a day for yourself to just kind of reset and recoup. I learned something new about my own resilience and strength and willingness every single day because it always changes. So I think taking advantage of the days when you do feel good and not beating yourself up on the days when you don't is super important.